welcome everybody to our party to celebrate the McCune Memorial Chelsea District Libraries being named the best small library in America for 2008. Yay! I'm Joan Elmucci, and I've been the director of the library since this past August. If I haven't met you yet, please take the opportunity this afternoon to come on over and say hello. I'd like to say a few words about the Best Small Library Award itself. This is a competitive national award sponsored by the Library Journal Magazine, which is a publication of the American Library Association and which is read by librarians all over the country. The award is co-sponsored by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The award was created in 2005 to encourage and showcase the exemplary work of libraries serving populations of under 25,000, and that's where the small libraries part comes in. Our library was judged by a panel of experts on key factors, including creativity, innovation, use of technology, community support, partnerships, and evidence of the library's role as a community center. We applied for the award last fall, received the amazing news that we'd won in January, appeared on the cover of Library Journal's February issue, and this is it, you haven't seen it, and received the actual award just last month at the Public Library Association's National Conference in Minneapolis. A four-page article with quite a few photos appeared in, in February's Library Journal, and if you would like to read the article, we have copies available inside at the service desks. The article is entitled A Michigan Model, and it calls our library a model for small libraries all over the country. So it's with great pride that I welcome you all here today, and thank you all for celebrating with us. And now it's my pleasure to introduce a special guest, the state librarian, Nancy Robertson. to your right and to your left 
to congratulate them on their hard work and foresight for bringing home the title Best Small Library in America. You deserve this. I'm going to introduce our, our she's brand new actually, um, she is our, uh, yeah right Wendy, what's your title? Marketing Director, Volunteer Coordinator, okay that's a good title. I'm going to introduce Wendy Smith who will be introducing a tribute. Hi, I'm Wendy Smith. I'm the Marketing and Development Coordinator for the Chelsea District Library. I'm especially honored as the new kid on the block to be here and to finally meet all of the original founders of this library, the Women's Club and all of the volunteers and friends who I've had the honor to work with. I feel very privileged to be a part of this system. Um, a special thank you to Bill Harmer and Elizabeth Goldman for applying us for this award. Um, thanks for your hard work. brought this, uh, the people of the district had the foresight to hire the right people. And it's quite a team. Um, this is a tribute from Governor Jennifer Granholm from the state of Michigan, and I'll read this. Uh, here we have many regards sent down from the governor's office. Megan Brown, her personal secretary, Liz Boyd, the press secretary, and Abby Stahl, the head of proclamations, have all asked me today to speak for them and say congratulations to the people of the district of this library. On behalf of the citizens of Michigan, I, Je Governor Jennifer M. Granholm, do hereby honor the Chelsea District Library. Whereas the Chelsea District Library serves more than 14,000 residents of the Chelsea District, made up of the city of Chelsea and Dexter, Lima, Linden, and Sylvan Townships. And whereas each year the Library Journal, in conjunction with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, encourages and showcases the exemplary work of public libraries serving populations under 25,000, and each year they solicit entries for the award from libraries whose